Well, this is shaping up as a bad week in Washington for the big brother aspects of government with several investigations underway involving snooping and undercover activities. Today, the Senate CIA investigators heard testimony from underworld figure John Rosselli about an alleged CIA mafia plot to assassinate Fidel Castro. Daniel Shaw reports. Camera shy and heavily guarded, as might be expected after Sam Giancana's death, Roselli slipped up and down back stairs at the Capitol trying to avoid the press. But before the Senate committee waiving immunity, Roselli was fully cooperative. For two and a half hours, he told of plotting with the CIA starting in 1960 to try to kill Castro. By poison, by rifle, trying to land hit teams by power boat, one of the boats sunk by a Cuban patrol vessel. Chairman Frank Church found Roselli's first-hand account vivid but not complete. He um, uh, identified no one other than the uh, government uh, officials with which he dealt. That is to say, he identified no one else by name, uh, but uh, he did um, fill out the chronology and gave us a great deal of detail. Was he in a position to name government officials any higher than those in the CIA? No, he was not. What Roselli didn't know is who gave the CIA its orders, and it's because of this vagueness of command channels that the Senate committee is fighting with the White House over National Security Council and other documents. Daniel Shaw, CBS News, Washington. Yesterday, Frank Church, chairman of the Senate Select Committee on Intelligence, said the White House was holding up the investigation of the CIA by not providing requested documents. Today, a White House spokesman replied with some heat that the charge is just not true that White House staff people are working overtime, going through documents, he said, to determine their relevance. And today, the committee heard an underworld figure named John Roselli talk about his part in an alleged CIA plot against Fidel Castro. Ford Rowan reports. John Roselli was given heavy police protection. The one-time member of Al Capone's gang was called to testify about an alleged CIA plot in the early 1960s to kill Fidel Castro. The plot allegedly involved Sam Momo Giacana, who was murdered last week. Chairman Church said Roselli gave details but did not name everyone involved. He was worried that uh, to name certain people other than the government people might endanger their lives. Did Roselli give you any information to substantiate or to refute the allegations of assassination plots? Well, there was no refutation in his testimony today. So there was some confirmation that there is something to these allegations? I think that uh, the um, fact of the connection is already known because I have stated it previously. I will state it again. The committee has hard evidence that the CIA was involved in both assassination plots and assassination attempts. Church declined to be specific, but sources say the alleged plots against Castro are among the most intriguing, involving the Mafia, a former aide to billionaire Howard Hughes, the CIA, and Cuban adventurers. The committee now is trying to find out if presidents of the United States were also involved in any assassination plots. Ford Rowan, NBC News, Washington. Evening. Senator George McGovern, who recently visited Cuba, told a news conference today that Fidel Castro believed the CIA had been involved in a series of plots on his life. And those alleged plots span four administrations, Eisenhower, Kennedy, Johnson, and Nixon. A former undercover CIA operative made public details of one plot involving the mafia. Daniel Shaw reports. Senator McGovern showed newsmen and sent the Senate Intelligence Committee Fidel Castro's own entry in the assassination investigation, accounts of 24 plots against him, allegedly CIA-inspired, starting in 1960, the last he claimed when he visited Chile in 1971. The document quoted confessions of alleged would-be killers, mostly Cubans. The reported weapons range from dynamite to a gun hidden in a television camera. McGovern said that since many of these plots went on after the 1961 Bay of Pigs and after Kennedy pledges of nonviolence, the question was if the CIA acted on its own. I have no way of verifying these uh, allegations, but uh, if they are true, I think it's clear the CIA has been engaged in the most shocking, uh, murderous, and un-American activities against the leaders of a neighboring state. 
And I find such behavior a complete uh, contradiction of the basic principles of this country. Not included in Castro's catalog was the plot that Robert Mayhew finally told in public today after testifying with immunity before the Senate committee. Disclosing he'd been on the CIA's payroll since 1954, Mayhew said that in 60, as part of the Bay of Pigs planning, he was asked by his project officer to contact mafia figure John Roselli to help in Castro's removal. With Roselli and Sam Giancana in a Miami Beach hotel, they laid a plan, later aborted, to get a poison pellet to Havana. My only understanding was that uh, the, uh, the capsules were to be given to uh, someone, and uh, the someone I, I, I didn't know then and never have known since, uh, who was in a position to uh, be close enough to Castro so that uh, it could be administered uh, if need be. Mayhew said for six years he got $500 a month from the CIA to use his consultant's firm as a cover for agency operations. And in 1966, when he went to work for Howard Hughes in Las Vegas, his new employer wanted him to set up a big CIA covert operation. When I asked him why, he said that he felt that he wanted this kind of protection from the government in case he ever became involved in any serious problem with any agency of the government. What Hughes wanted, said Mayhew, was a CIA operation he could threaten to blow as a way of forcing concessions from the government. Mayhew said he didn't set up the covert operation for Hughes. Whether it turned out to be the Glomar Explorer, the submarine raising ship, Mayhew didn't know. Daniel Shaw, CBS News, Washington. CIA over those years, at what level who was in on the orders to uh, prepare a plot to assassinate Castro? No, since I was, my main comment was that if uh, we were going to get involved with the Mafia again, please come to him first, because uh, our involvement with the Mafia might impede his uh, desire to uh, drive hard against the Mafia and, the, and general crime busting effort. Did he suggest any prosecution as a result of uh, his knowledge now? No, he did not. What was his reaction to the idea of uh, an assassination plot against Castro? There was no strong reaction that I noted. Did, do you know, as a result of your own... Uh, uh... Former aides to John and Robert Kennedy insist that both men were unaware of any plot to kill a foreign leader, were morally opposed to the idea. Assuming that Houston's recollection is accurate, and the only witness to the conversation died recently, Robert Kennedy knew about the plot to kill Castro, but fail to investigate or prosecute those responsible. David Schumacher, ABC News at the Capitol. The question is what? Mr. Castro told me that the CIA was involved in a number of efforts to assassinate him and other Cuban leaders. He also said that there had been scores of harassment efforts against the uh, Cuban coastline and installations in Cuba operating from CIA boats at sea. I asked him if he would uh, prepare a written report for me on these incidents, which he agreed to do, and that uh, report uh, has now been transmitted to my office. I have no way of uh, verifying these uh, allegations. But uh, if they are true, I think it's clear the CIA has been engaged in the most shocking, uh, murderous, and un-American activities against the leaders of a neighboring state. And I find such behavior a complete uh, contradiction. Along with the pictures of the, uh, of the uh, captured uh, conspirators, or at least the Well, I must say I was struck uh, not only by the shocking character of what was attempted, if in fact it was attempted, but also by the extreme incompetence of the people that were employed to do it. It seems incredible that the uh, most powerful uh, country in the world uh, could be so inept. gangster John Roselli. 
In most cases, the uh, evidence involves schemes uh, to assassinate Prime Minister Castro. The most uh, recent plan was for an assassin to pose as a Venezuelan newsman covering Castro's 1971 visit to Chile. The gun was to be uh, concealed in a television camera. The assassin in that case, uh, Jesus uh, Dominguez Bennett, known as the uh, Islander, had been arrested by the FBI in 1968 for promoting terrorism in the United States. He was arrested again in 1970 by authorities at Guantanamo Naval Base, but was nonetheless free to participate a few months later in an attempt on Castro's life. Before 1971, the most recent infectation consider the appalling prospect that the CIA was involved in assassination attempts in Cuba entirely on its own and perhaps in direct uh, defiance of higher authority. If that is the case, then we have suffered abuses a free society simply cannot tolerate. We must spare no effort in learning the full truth, in identifying those responsible, and in assuring that methods are developed to see that this kind of conduct does not take place again. Or attempts uh, uh, on Castro that you were unaware of? Well, uh, I'm not totally unaware of, uh, of any attempts on Castro, but... Uh, uh, yes, he said that, and of course the uh, committee will take into account the, the climate of the times, attitudes of the times, in uh, making its appraisal. However, uh, the assassination uh, problem is not confined to uh, Mr. Castro. And therefore, uh, it cannot be dismissed upon the uh, grounds that uh, Castro took actions, including making Cuba a missile base in, uh, in later uh, months that uh, in retrospect might have justified uh, such um, extreme um, activity. I, I really think the subject cannot be simplified it, 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 and it cannot be dismissed in that manner. Though of course the committee will take into account the, the attitude and the, the climate that prevailed Mr. at that time. Sorry, Mr. McCone indicated that there was one major project. The question was what? I say when and where and who finally turned all of this off? When did we cease these activities? Well, the uh, principal one was uh, stopped right after the Bay of Pigs. Well, are you saying that the authority uh, that for these uh, activities, uh, are you suggesting it was some sort of National Security Council decision uh, long before you took really office, not, or Yes, the authority was prior to my taking office, and I really don't know uh, uh, the source of the authority, so uh, someone else will have to answer that was question. Was the authority prior to President Kennedy taking office, or was it during the part of his administration before you took office? So far as I know, uh, the authority came in the late uh, 1960 and early 61. Again, so it was... Uh, it was and uh, both at the close of the Eisenhower administration and, and uh, in the early parts of the but Kennedy administration. But there again... Uh, uh, President, and at which the subject of assassination reportedly was raised and then dismissed. What can you tell us about that meeting? Went to that, uh, that uh, General Lansdale was supposed to have written? Which, uh, uh, an, erroneous, an erroneous memorandum, which was changed immediately. But what oh, I, I would just like to say that uh, use every channel of communication with every Latin American country to wean them away from any of the principles that we stood for and drive them into, uh, into communism. Delete reference to uh, these reported assassination conspiracies from its report to be made public. Well, all I know is what uh, Mr. Rockefeller said as I read in the paper this morning. Uh, he apparently felt that, uh, that uh, 
information he had was not uh, totally complete, and for that reason, they are not dealing with it at this moment. You think it will feed public speculation, the failure to come out with a report now? Uh, I think you could ask that of the uh, Vice President. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. Senator Church, right now. Oh, yeah. Excuse me. Do we have to consider the climate of the times and all the things that Castro was trying to do to us in order to understand how assassination uh, was considered, uh, which is a paraphrase. Did he say that to you, and what do you think of that justification? That was turned off uh, shortly after the Bay of Pigs. Is that the, uh, the evidence that you have? I can't get into the specifics uh, at this time. Uh, you understand the reason why. When we have all of the evidence, uh, I will strongly recommend that the committee make a full uh, disclosure. After all, uh, in this country, it is the people's government, not the politicians. And the people have the right to know what the government is doing or what the government has done. They have the right to know the good and the bad, the right and the wrong, because the government belongs to them. And uh, that will be uh, the governing principle of the committee insofar as I uh, can, uh, can persuade, the, insofar as I can, as chairman, um, establish the principle. Senator, uh, there we got word from the White House uh, 30 or so minutes ago that they may not make the Rockefeller report uh, public. Do you care to comment on that? There have been indications it would be made public at a later date. You were talking about the I, uh, to know. Uh, uh, that is a part of the investigation that is still underway, and uh, that is a reason why I am refusing to answer questions that relate to such details, because all of the evidence is not at hand. I have said today that uh, some assassinations that were carried out, Mr. McCone said that he was questioned this morning about uh, South Vietnam and presumably uh, the death of uh, President uh, Diem. Uh, is the committee uh, investigating uh, ev evidence or allegations of CIA involvement in that? The committee is investigating all leads uh, that relate to this issue. I um, well, have committee. nothing further to volunteer <laughs> 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 if there are no further questions. <laughs> I think I've answered uh, your question. You said this morning that you would issue a report on assassination as the first order of business. Does that mean you or the committee does not intend to hold public hearings on this issue? The committee has not decided that question. But a report will come first in any of the uh, When all of the evidence has been gathered, the committee will then mm -hmm. consider uh, how it should proceed, whether with public hearings or with the issuance of a committee report, or perhaps uh, with a full uh, disclosure made to the Senate itself. Uh, my own position is that we ought to adopt a means that will not further exacerbate this problem or maximize the damage that it does to the good reputation of the United States. At the same time, I feel that the, the facts must be made known to the American people. And I would hope that the committee would choose a means for accomplishing the objective of full disclosure with the minimum damage to the country. Senator, isn't there more damage in these sort of hallway briefings and innuendos than there would be in having an open hearing and having all of the testimony out? What I, doubt very, uh, I that? doubt very much that matters of this kind should be made the subject of a television extravaganza to be broadcast from day to day, week after week, to a fascinated, world-flung public audience. Thank you, I gentlemen. Sorry about the close quarters, both of you. I think he was talking about the ABC show.
Well, that's that's your opinion. It's a it's it's it's, it's a public issue, but we don't want to really. Give we it don't want to put it to the public. Well, yeah, but not not in the hallway. Not in the hallway. <laughs> <laughs> oh, some extravaganza you have. Yeah, that was easy. That was easy. But if you guys the build, rest is just normal. Recording. If you build a set, it'll be okay. <laughs> we didn't lose anything. Well, uh, I'm glad to hear that. Everybody we, uh, I'm going to lower the mics if everybody agrees. Yeah, All right. Be careful now. Oh, hold it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Everybody up. Mr. McCone, can you say what area you were asked about and whatever you can say of how you answered? Well, the principal discussion was these uh, reports of the uh, attempts that were made on the assassination of uh, Castro. And uh, as you know, because I've talked to you about this before, this is an area in which uh, I had not been informed, and uh, therefore I could, uh, could not give any important information to the committee. Over three hours? Well, there are lots of questions and there's uh, lots of, of discussion. There's some discussion of uh, the South Vietnam situation in 1963 as well. But uh, there again, uh, uh, although the situation was entirely different, I did not expect it to come up. I had not had an opportunity to review my files, and uh, therefore it was difficult for me to deal with questions that were, were, were uh, presented to me. Was that the McCone Phoenix operation? No, the Phoenix operation was after my time. Mr. McCone, it, you seem to be suggesting that at that time there may have been some special relationship between the White House and certain elements in the CIA around you? No, I, uh, I really do not think that that, that was the case, although uh, that's something that has to be developed by the uh, interrogation by the Committee of Others. But to my knowledge, there was no special uh, relationship, which I was not aware of. The uh, authority under which uh, these uh, reported activities were, uh, uh, were carried on uh, uh, long before my time. Well, Do you have any saying that from this morning's hearings uh, uh